Hello. We're going to take a few moments here to look at how you can implement a hamburger menu on your website. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with this video, uh, pause the video as we're working through things, you're welcome to. Uh, remember that this, uh, from the materials page, you can get to this page by going to Discussion 10.5 on Website Follow-Ups. You click on that and go down to Implementing a Hamburger Menu. This is going to be uh, what we're using for the next few minutes. So I'll remind you that um, our website that we designed, it was uh, specifically set up that, so that it would be relatively friendly for looking at on your website uh, or, or on your computer or on a phone. We designed it with a phone primarily, uh, but we also set it up so that you could look at it on a, a desktop computer. One of the things that's nice to be able to do, however, is hide the menu, hide that navigation when you're on a phone, because that navigation does take up space. And so if we can hide it and show it to people just when they want to see the navigation, then that might be an advantage. So I'm going to be working off a forked copy of the old project that we were working on, that first self-care project. And you can get to that if you don't want to experiment on your own website probably safer to try this out first on uh, on a separate website. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link and go to that old website here, the self-care, the life during lockdown. Remember, if you run that relatively simple site, and um, you may not like the colors or the layout or that little background image, but the important thing that we're focusing on here is the hamburger menu. So uh, let's first of all fork that project. There are a few different ways that you can fork this project. Um, one way is to, well, because I'm logged in, I'm just going to go to these three dots here, and you can choose fork. Uh, it'll be slightly different for uh, you, but when, when you find that fork there, you can fork it. And then let's give it uh, a name, something like uh, sample website hamburger fork or whatever. That's what, that's what I'm going to call it. You can call it whatever you like on yours, and that's going to be the copy of our website, our original website that we're going to be working with. So um, yeah, let's start following those instructions. I'm just going to go back over here and start taking a look and seeing what I'm supposed to do. So first of all, we need to create that hamburger icon. That icon, those three horizontal lines, you know, there's a, the hamburger um, bun on top and then the patty underneath and then the uh, lower bun on the bottom there. That's why why they call it a hamburger menu, or that uh, that for that icon there. That's indicated by this little code designation here. There's no obviously hamburger icon key on your keyboard, but if we put that code into um, our web page, it will print out. It'll display that hamburger icon, and we also are going to grab this entire piece here and copy that. And as it says. Include this div inside the header of every page on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Move over here. Now, it's a little bit confusing. There's a head section, which we'll talk about later on, and the header right here. This is supposed to go in the header. So right under Life During Lockdown, I'm going to paste in that little div there. And what this is going to do, just to explain, it's going to display, in most circumstances, that little hamburger icon. And if we click on that icon, it's going to activate a JavaScript function here called toggle nav. And we'll see what that does in just a few moments. I'm actually going to go ahead and paste that code. Remember, it has to go in the header for every page in the website. So I've pasted that in there. And now when I run that, if I take a look and see what's going on, um, oh, oh, I can see that there's a little Yes, there's a little icon right there, and it looks kind of funky. It looks like there's four lines instead of just three. I'm going to fix all that in a minute. Let's see. Uh, add these lines to your style CSS file, which will place the hamburger menu link in the correct location. All right, so these go in the style CSS. There's only one style CSS file, so I'm going to grab these and copy these. And they can go anywhere in that style CSS. Here's style CSS. They can really go anywhere in here. Just so I can kind of keep things in order, I'm going to put them maybe right below the header because I'm styling the header. I'm going to actually put them right down in here. I'll paste them in here. And uh, so that div mobile, div mobile, this is related again to that hamburger menu. And if we run it now, you'll see that that hamburger menu is no longer there. It looks like it's got 
gotten dropped down to the bottom of the page down here. It's down here in the bottom, which is, that looks kind of awkward. Not sure what's going on there, but let's look at this last line here. To get the hamburger icon, icon located in the position off to the side, add this line to the header CSS in the style CSS file. Okay, so there's a bunch of other stuff in that header CSS. So I think I'm just gonna copy this. And this goes in the header section of the style CSS. So here's the header section of the style CSS. I'll just put it down here at the bottom, I guess. Position relative. And this, these are CSS commands that are a little bit more advanced than what we've discussed to this point. But now you can see when I run that and take a look, there's that little icon over off to the side. Kind of, uh, it's in the header. I can still see the nav. That's an, that's annoying. I, I want to. Ultimately, I'm go going to only be seeing this navigation when I click on the hamburger menu. Right now, I'm seeing both of those, but we'll see if we can get that fixed in a moment. Good, I've got my hamburger icon kind of near the top of my screen. Let's see what else we need to do. Set up styling to hide show the hamburger menu and the nav section. So again, in the style CSS file, add a line to the nav styling so that it, it is not displayed when we're in the phone mode. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the nav section and along with the other stuff that's in there, I'm gonna put display none. So style.css, I'm looking for the nav section. There it is. Uh, and I guess I'm just gonna put in here underneath all that other stuff, display none. And if I run that now, uh, oh, oh, look at this. The navigation menu has disappeared. I've got my hamburger menu. Clicking it doesn't do anything. My navigation has disappeared. Interesting. Okay. And then what's next? In style CSS for the app media section at the end, which describes styles for a desktop viewing environment, add these lines that will show the nav section and hide the hamburger menu in that view. Okay. Well, I'm going to copy those and put those in the app media section. You may remember in the styles that app media section we added that on at the very end. Here's the app media section for the desktop friendly responsive styling. Move that over a little bit there. So that's a, a good section. And this is where I'm supposed to put these. I'll just put them down here at the bottom. They, these two lines need to be in between, let me get in there, in between these curly braces, right? These curly braces at the top and bottom describe all the media and so I've got nav li, nav li here, nav display block, and dot mobile. Good. Well, let's try running that and see what happens. Still kind of looks the same, but it turns out we added a functionality here. I wasn't examining this before. But remember, when we're in this phone mode, we're only going to be seeing the hamburger menu. When I go into desktop mode, this is interesting. Now I can see the nav again and that hamburger menu has disappeared. I don't need to see the hamburger menu. That would be confusing. I don't need to see the hamburger menu if I'm already showing the nav. I'll only show that hamburger menu when the nav disappears. This is great, we're in great shape. The only thing we have left to do then is get that JavaScript working. We've learned a little bit about JavaScript and this function is a little bit beyond where you would maybe understand it at this point, but it is a function. You can see it's a function. We've talked about JavaScript functions. It has an if else statement in it, and we've talked about that. It's got a var state, so it's got a, uh, a variable that we're getting a value for that should actually be let state equals. That's an old school way of doing this. Um, so uh, two things, though, before I get down there. Uh, let's get here. Make sure you have script source blah, blah, blah. Oh, and this, this entire thing here, I'm going to copy that in your head on every web page, not the header, but the head. So I need to put that line in every web page in the head section. So let me go in and do that. Here's my index page with the head section up at the top. And so in addition to this link here, I'm going to paste this here. And this simply says, if you're looking for any JavaScript functions like toggle nav, you'll find them in the script.js file over here. And you can see there's nothing there. We'll come back to that in a moment. So I've pasted that in the head on this page. Let me go to the about page. I'll do the same thing there. 
And for the help page, I'll do the same thing there. Let's paste those in, all of those. And then finally, finally, we've got this function here in the file script JS. Paste the code for the toggle nav function here. So I'm going to grab that whole thing, copy that, and paste that into my script.js. All right, well, let's run this and see what happens. So as it is now, you can see that my life during lockdown is not showing the navigation. I do have that hamburger menu, though. And if I have any experience with websites on phones, then I know that if I click that, it'll expand that menu and show me what's going on. And then I can go, say, to the help page and click on the help page, and it will show me what's there. Again, it's kind of nice. It's not taking up a bunch of space for that navigation there unless I need it. And if I need it, then I'll click on this and I can go back to the home page and it'll take me back to that home page. So this is working just the way I want it to. If I'm in desktop mode, I don't even worry about the hamburger menu. I can still just click back and forth between these rev regular navigation uh, links here. But as soon as I start to look at this on a phone, then I'm going to get that responsive version with the hamburger menu. And that's how you implement a hamburger menu on your website.